Hello everyone, welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. In this video I want to show you an easy trick to add realistic looking sun rays without spending much time on creating custom brushes or anything like that. Instead for this method we simply download an already custom made brush which also already looks like a realistic sun ray coming through the trees in the forest. So before we can start adding the sun rays to this image you can download those brushes first, you can find the link in the description of the video and once you have downloaded it just extract the zip file and then double click on the ABR file. Once you have double clicked it, it will automatically install the brushes and when you go in Photoshop and use the brush tool you can find the new brushes all the way down in this list. And as you can see, there are quite a few brushes. So let's just take this one for an example. And now I'm scaling it way up. And now so you can see what it looks like, I'm brushing in once. As you can see, they are looking pretty realistic. So we don't need to use anything like the radial blur or Gaussian blur settings for this method. Now a quick note, by the way, this doesn't work on every image. It works pretty good on this photo because I have a clear path of the light coming in from the left side to the bottom right side of the photo. And I also have a lot of spots which are directly hit by the light which will make the sun ray effect more realistic. So keep that in mind when you want to apply this method. But enough of the theoretical talking, let's start by applying this effect. So I'm creating a new layer and I have already chosen a color for the brush. Then let's select the brush tool. And again, let's go through the list of custom sunray brushes. Here I'm just looking for a brush that comes from the upper left and goes to the bottom right. So this one, for example, would be the wrong direction and the angle would be a little bit too steep. But I think this one works pretty well because it doesn't have such a steep angle and comes in from the right side. So let's choose this one. And also let's increase the brush size all the way up. Now the obvious thing to do would be to brush in in an area like this place. And it might even look okay, but I want to place the sun rays a little bit in the back of the image, giving it a more realistic 3D like effect. That means I'm not placing the brush in the upper left corner like I just did, but I'm going in the center area where all the highlights are and brush in somewhere like this. Actually, let's make the brush a little bit smaller and let's once again brush in. And this looks much, much better. Otherwise it would be too big and again wouldn't look realistic. Then of course we can play around a little bit further with the brush size and add some variation to it and brush in a few more times. Something like this maybe. All right, this already looks pretty cool. But of course we still need to fix a few things to make it look realistic. Uh, first let's change the brush once more. And since I want to mask out a few things, I'm going with this soft round brush first. Uh, let's also reduce the size real quick. Um, then next we have our sun ray layer right here. And on this one I want to apply a layer mask. Then I'm using this layer mask to cut out a few areas of those light rays. As said earlier, I want to create a 3D like effect. So let's use a black brush and just get rid of some of those sun rays. For example, right there in the foreground, there isn't any light on the ground. So it doesn't make any sense for a sun ray to be hitting this area. That's why I'm painting over this area with the brush on the layer mask. And the same thing goes for this area on the trees on the right side. Although there is light hitting the tree way in the front, this isn't the light from back there. So we need to erase this area as well from the sun ray layer. And of course the light would also be behind this tree. So again I'm simply painting with black on the layer mask to erase those parts of the brush. Alright and let's do the same for this tree. 
and as you can see you don't really have to be that precise because there's so much going on in this area uh, you wouldn't notice if the masking wasn't that clean. Alright, this starts to look really cool. Now we have fixed the right side with those trees, but of course we also need to fix the left side a little bit. So right now this light ray doesn't make any sense because it seems to come out from nowhere. So I'm just brushing this one away. Alright, actually this area on the left side looks a bit weird because as I just said the sun rays seem to come out of nowhere. But I think we can easily fix that. Therefore I'm just duplicating the sunray layer by hitting Ctrl J. And then let's select the layer mask real quick and fill it by hitting Shift F5 with white. So the layer mask is clean again. And then we just pick up the whole thing by pressing V and let's move it up a little bit. Something like this. Alright. And then we can simply use the layer mask again to remove parts of those added light rays. Alright, as you can see we have a nice 3D like effect. Because now all those sun rays are behind the trees and over an area where it actually makes sense to have such light rays. I hope this tutorial was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions then please feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.